my mother would always take us to the track on afternoons when we were just at home or on the weekends and she would run us around because she ran when she was in high school so it was important to her that we did that too and I always had fun and so I think just my competitive spirit and my like early passion that was instilled in me through my mom that's brought me where I, I am today. I love cross country for the team aspect of it because there are seven girls on that course and you're running for each other. And no matter, it's a 6K, that's, that's pretty long. And running up those hills, it's grueling. It's definitely tough. And there are times when you're exhausted and you think, I could just stop. But then you think of all your teammates in front of you and behind you and right next to you and you think, no, I'm doing this for these girls. We're doing this together because Everyone on this course is hurting just as badly, but they're still going um, for this common goal. And that's what I really love about cross country. The steeplechase is incredible. It's the most fun that anyone can ever have running. I will never be satisfied running a flat race on the track again. You have to be an athlete to do that. I'm here to, to use all of my body and to really just challenge myself overall um, on the track. You, you do have to be a little bit stronger. It's a mix between being a, a mid-distance girl who's doing the mile or the 800 and has to be really strong, or a long-distance girl who has to have that endurance and that patience. I have to have all of that, and I can't get away with slacking on my, on my weight lifting or slacking on my sprints or my longer runs. I have to be like keyed in for all of that to be a great steeplechaser. But it's worth it when you get on the line and you're racing with your teammates and you have the Virginia or the USA on your chest and you just, it, it means a lot more. So all those solitary runs, it's, it's worth it. And I like it. it I like to think when I run, I get the best ideas for school papers or anything when I'm running, so it, it's, it's, it's time for myself sometimes that, that I don't always get. When I came here to UVA, I wanted to take every advantage of every opportunity that was presented to me. So my first year, I started writing for the Cab Daily. I became an editor, did that for two years, and finished up through my fourth year. I ended up doing a double major with English and government and spent four years doing that and it was so much fun. And then I decided to come back for a fifth year. So I decided to apply for the master's program um, in English and I got in and it's one of the best departments in the country. It's a fabulous program and I felt really honored to be accepted and to be able to keep studying with these professors I had studied with um, as an undergraduate. I've always was interested in doing internships over the summer, so in 2008 I got an internship with this local newspaper called The Hook. I loved it so much and I got in, fit in so well there that I didn't ever want to stop and they let me just keep hanging around and so now I've been working there for about going on three years now um, and it's, it's fantastic. It's such great experience and it keeps me very busy but um, it, it's totally worth it. It's what I want to be doing besides the running and the studying. <laughs>